Thank you so much to Samsung for sponsoring this video. Check out all the cool new features on the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G powered by AT&T 5G out now, including the ultimate gaming experience, super fast charging, hyper fast processor, and more. Also look how pretty. Hello, Gavin Barb. Hello. 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 Welcome uh, the audience back to another round of us apparently testing whether or not we have too much confidence in ourselves. I don't know why I keep doing this show. It's not like we need more people telling us terrible things about each other, but for some reason it's still fun, <laughs> and so we're back here on the Roast Me Show. Um, I'm the worst <laughs> host ever, apparently. The fact um, that we are willingly doing this, too, is I don't know why we're putting ourselves through this. You're like, and who wants to be roasted next? I'm like, I'll do it. See, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with the concept. It's just what what a time to be doing it. We're good. Yeah. We're fine. Uh, and then I, I asked Barbara. Well, she she volunteered. And then I asked her, uh, who is her security blanket? Who is her who is her um, Samwise to her uh, uh, Frodo? And she picked Gavin. Get wrecked, Trevor. Get wrecked. Gavin loves insulting me and and saying mean things to me, but he'll never do it in a in a way that will actually hurt my feelings. So. Yeah. I'd, I would just like send a text to you right before the podcast starts and be like talentless wanker just, <laughs> <laughs> because i know i know you know i don't believe that and i know it'll make you laugh the original title on the roast me on the sub uh, subreddit roast me was 31 female canadian living in the united states care to try your best you should have put an a um, at the end care to try your best eh <laughs> i i thought about it all right i'll read this first one all right this is from gravity fudge <laughs> they say, what a queef would look like if it had a face. <laughs> it's good, right? That, that was like that was like the top one on the top of the, I don't the whole know. list. Is that like an insult or is that a compliment? Because you queef usually after sex, so it means like, oh, this person clearly has sex, so... <laughs> Like, is so that are, are they are they picturing your face in like a cum bubble? <laughs> <laughs> Gross, I'm one of Gavin. the sperm. <laughs> Well, you know, Barbara brought in the context and I sort of, I was trying to picture what that would be. I feel like that one's not too bad because it's, you know, it's that could apply to anyone. <laughs> you look like you orgasm via apologies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so jarring in the bedroom. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to apologize in bed? He, oh, yeah, absolutely. I've definitely like... I'm a very tall, lanky person, so when you're like shifting positions, there's been oh, some legs limbs. and arms thrown. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gav? Uh, oh, I assume so. Yeah. <laughs> they all blur together, right, Gav? <laughs> Probably after every single incident. Next one. You look like Wayne Gretzky in drag. <laughs> that one's from Digum 1996. Oh, you dug him. Oh, Tidu 34. Off-brand Barbie doll from Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's it's like the Malibu Stacy doll. Cynthia from Rugrats. <laughs> like burnt up to a crisp. Uh, this one. one's from Thickless Cage. Great name. You look like you have been finger blasted in an Applebee. That is weird. That what I'm getting from this is that a lot of people think I'm white trash. <laughs> But sexually active white trash. Can you tell someone's just been finger blasted though? <laughs> Sergeant Shikamabob says, I knew Canadians wore hockey masks. I just didn't know they tried to make them look human. <laughs> now I want to see a goalie in a hockey game with Barbara's face on the mask. This is really making me question what my face really looks like to other people. <laughs> This is from Dan Mankin. There is more foundation on your face than there is under my house. <laughs> there were a few makeup comments, and I felt like this one was the peak one. Uh, uh, you know, they're not wrong. OP's mammal mama, what is <laughs> mammogram result. result. <laughs> yeah, it's from there. Like, all the letters are blending into each other. OP's mammogram result says you look like your greatest achievement in life is being an extra in a hallmark oh. movie <laughs> the thing i love about this comment is that they could have just said you look like your greatest achievement was being in a hallmark movie like even starring in that <laughs> still would have been a <laughs> they went a step lower you're still not good enough to be the lead yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 
Uh, next one's Barb. All right. Uh, this is from Fee on the Swift 2. She's the type of person to get a gym membership just to take pictures of herself holding a dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Do it for the Insta. Do it for, do it for the gram, baby. <laughs> Look at my muscle. Uh, you think this muscle only holds one dumbbell? Look at that definition. I haven't worked out in four months. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one's Gavin. Uh, this is R.S. Griffin, Vanna Blight. <laughs> Vanna White, Vanna but White. the pestilence version of it. Uh, Vanna Blight. That's actually quite clever. I was yeah. looking at it like, is that what they mean though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's better or worse you have to explain someone's insult. Probably worse. Zero out Barbara. of Barbara. But big kaboo? Did you eat some piano keys or are you just happy to see me? I knew it! I knew someone would comment about my big white teeth. <laughs> the teethies. I do, I'm, I'm a, I have a very teethy smile. But I did pay a lot of money for these. So. Yeah, show them off. They're expensive. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, I shave confidence. I have confidence. <laughs> the funniest <laughs> part of this video is mispronouncing these. It's because they're so small. I know, we're yeah. so small. Uh, all right, this says, you look like a guy using the gender swap filter. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I like that one the best. The best right. part is there have been so many guys who've tweeted me using that gender swap filter on these apps that are just like, I look like at B. Dunkelman. And I'm like, this is <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know how to take that. What, what do you think is the most masculine part of you? Probably my jawline. I was like, gonna say your chin. Yeah. You, gotta, you got, got a very strong gin, chin. I got like a kind of a squarish jawline. Like, a, like a Grace Jones chin. All right, next one. Uh, what is it? Uh, Barb? Or uh, it's Gap. Gap's next. Hey, oh, Johnny Piston, you look like you use denim tampons and you've been repeatedly <laughs> hit in the head with a bag of milk. <laughs> Denim tampons. I, there's so much to unpack here. It was highly descriptive. I had to include it. All right. Stude. Fitting that you moved to America because you and Abraham Lincoln have identical noses. <laughs> wow, it's weird watching someone else get a nose insult. I was going to say. Yeah. They just don't have proper perspective to know they're, they're commenting the wrong person. Uh, Gavi. Dizavid. Jesus Christ. Did you get into the Joker's smile juice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for being smile. happy. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, I don't think any of these are that bad yet. I mean, if you want me to find the ones that are bad, I still have them. <laughs> Gavin, do you want to quickly do you want to quickly go over to Reddit and and write something yourself? So. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> There's a right. similar last one. I want to say that you like Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, but you look more like a Harley Davidson because you're a goddamn hawk. <laughs> I feel like that comment would have been more clever without the after the Harley Davidson. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Now I want to see what I look like as a motorcycle. <laughs> um, have at it, internet. Ex Pagliacci. I'd rather get COVID than subscribe to your OnlyFans page. <laughs> that's it. That's someone saying that they don't want to see you naked. They'd rather get a virus. Yeah, yep. you know, that's... That's fair. That's fair. I ca I gotta <laughs> say that's so with the times right now. I, I also think that person's lying. I'd just like to point that out. <laughs> Open Imagination Nine says, so free healthcare, public safety, environmental laws, a steady economy, and responsible government are things you hate. <laughs> is, are they? Are it they is just a bit going... of a burn because you did leave all that. That's I just did. a leaving Canada burn. <laughs> but there there are benefits like you guys living here i get to be with all my friends who read insults to me on the internet <laughs> it's a great place to live i mean to clarify you did get to be with all your friends until we all got stuck at home for an entire year let's not talk about that uh last comment all right this is from octopusy 6942 is that a p oh oh you look like you try to be funny in youtube comedy sketches mm, i'm gonna guess that this person might be familiar with me. <laughs> there's two There's two options here. Either they're familiar with who you are, or you just look like someone they think tries to be funny in that entire genre of YouTube yeah. videos. And by that, they mean you're a woman who appears in YouTube comedy videos. So Whoa. Every woman is trying to be funny, but men are just <laughs> naturally funny. No one's trying. Um, we made it through uh, all the comments that I filtered out for you. <laughs> I was gonna say like what I now I'm curious what like the worst of the worst is. 
tune into the roast post show where we'll do the actual roast. You made it through, Barb. How are you feeling after all that? I somehow feel better about myself. Yeah, I, I'm looking at your face and I, I, I see relief. If you guys want to fill the comments of this video with who you'd like to see uh, get roasted next, more than happy to approach them and add to breaking down the confidence of all my friends here at Rooster Teeth. If you want uh, a montage of 20 nose comments, uh, I feel like I'm the clear choice for the next one. <laughs> well, Gavin, if you ever get roasted, I will gladly read the comments to you. And You'll be my, my security own. blanket? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, well, thank you, Barb. Thank you, Gav, for joining me. That was super fun. I appreciate it. I'm glad I didn't completely demolish you, my good, good friend, Barb. Thank you, Gavin, for continuing to yeah. keep me humble. Uh, hey, Barbara. Yeah. Let's get a text somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just what, one word. <laughs> one word. Whore. <laughs> That's it. I'll be honest. I didn't have a ton of time to come up with something. <laughs> That's a good one. Good burn. Good burn, Gavin. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see cool. you later. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Gavs. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching that video of me getting roasted by the internet. I hope you enjoyed it as much as Gavin did. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below saying what your favorite insult was. And if you have another insult that you want to throw at me, go for it. I'm bulletproof, baby. I'm not. Please, please be gentle.